You are welcome to another video of the course F5 Big IP Advanced WAF or ASM. In this section, we are going to create the first security policy which will be used to protect traffic to web application. We will learn the concepts and terminologies required to create security policy, including security templates, enforcement mode, learning mode, and also signature staging. Just to remember, we have already configured two vulnerable web applications, Hack It Yourself and DVWA, that are accessible via F5 LTM virtual servers through the names auctionf5demo.com and dvwaf5demo.com. If you review the virtual server, DVWA virtual server with IP address 2.112 with port HTTP and HTTP profile is applied to the virtual server which is important as required so we can apply F5 advanced fab security policy to the virtual server this is also true for the other virtual servers PHP auction virtual server which is accessible through the IP address 2 111 and service HTTP and HTTP profile is already assigned to the virtual server. Now we will protect web applications by creating the first security policy. In the section security, application security, security policy and policy list, here we can create a new security policy. There are a few options you need to understand when configuring a security policy. Now I will give you a basic understanding, but as the course progress, you will learn this concept in more depth, even if you don't want to learn them. The first is policy name. I will choose the name DVWA, underline security, underline policy, since I'm going to apply the security policy to DVWA web application. The second option policy type during the course we always choose the default option security in a specific lesson we will discuss the other option parent and then policy template there are pre-configured security settings for different purposes and applications making it easier to start with the template instead of creating a security policy from the start. Some of the security templates are application specific templates such as SharePoint, which is clear how to use them, but between generic templates, some of them like rapid deployment policy or fundamental or comprehensive are more commonly used. The template a rapid deployment template is designed for quick setup and is ideal for beginning users. It creates a basic security policy that does not block any violation initially, allowing you to review and fine tune the policy over the time. But the template fundamental provides enhanced security by actively blocking violations during the policy building process. It requires more time to fine tune compared to the rapid deployment template and is aimed at intermediate users. And finally, comprehensive security template offers maximum security by turning on all violations, features and learning capabilities it's intended to provide the highest level of security enforcement and it's recommended for experted user for this scenario i will choose rapid deployment policy and we will apply it to the virtual server dvwa but we can apply it also later let me apply it later and application language specifies the primary language used by web application configuring this setting is important for WAF 
to understand the application character sets and language specific attributes. Usually we configure Unicode or UTF-8. And then enforcement mode. This is how advanced WAF stops malicious traffic from hurting your web application. In transparent mode, the system logs violation but does not block them. This mode is suitable for monitoring and fine tuning the security policy in the initial days without affecting legitimate traffic. But in the blocking mode, system actively blocks requests that causes violations. For the first policy, I configure it as blocking. And then a learning mode, which is very important to understand and we will discuss multiple times during the course. Advanced WAF learns from the traffic or administrator to get a smarter at protecting web application. In manual learning mode, the system provides suggestions based on the traffic that does not conform to the current policy, which may actually be an attack or a false positive. You can review these suggestions and decide whether to accept them if they are false positive or do nothing since they are actually attacks. Accepting suggestion is an important keyword that you will use frequently throughout the course. Don't worry, we will discuss it multiple times during the course. In automatic learning mode, the system takes over a large part of the learning process for you and update the security policy automatically. The system accepts learning suggestion based on traffic frequency. In other words, if a certain type of traffic occurs frequently and comes from different sources, it is usually reliable and achieves a certain learning score. However, there might be some suggestions that despite reaching the necessary score still require manual review and acceptance due to their potential impact on the application's functionality or security. It's important to notice that you can still accept suggestion manually even in automatic learning mode in fully automatic learning mode when we choose automatic we have the option fully automatic in fully automatic learning mode system accept all learning suggestion that reach a score of 100 even those that normally require manual acceptance for this scenario, I will choose the option manual, however, it's not important. And then signature accuracy, low, medium, or high, refers to the ability of an attack signature to correctly identify an attack with a focus on minimizing false positives. The value high means minimal false positive, and low means maximum security but with more false positive for the first security policy i choose the option low and signature staging during the staging period which is seven days by default the system applies attack signatures to the web application traffic but does not block traffic matching the signatures Instead, learning suggestions are generated that you can accept, meaning it is a false positive and the traffic is not an actual violation or ignore it, which means the traffic can be a violation. After learning or a staging period, signature staging is disabled and all traffic that matches the signature will be blocked. For the first security policy, I disable signature 
staging and finally server technologies refers to the technologies used in web application that can be automatically detected by f5 advanced WAF module but by specifying the technologies used in web application you can help f5 advanced WAF apply only the associated signatures to the traffic and minimize the likelihood of false positive web applications hack it yourself and also dvwa are based on php mysql apache web server and linux operating system therefore here i choose linux and then apache and then php and finally my sql note that to block traffic that matches a signature the enforcement mode must be set to blocking and signature staging must be disabled otherwise the traffic will not be blocked it is exactly what we configured in the first security policy disable signature staging and enforcement mode is configured as blocking and then save after you create a security policy you must apply it to the web application so that web application can be protected by the security policy in the section local traffic virtual servers and the virtual server list select the virtual servers associated with web application that you want to protect then you need to enable application security policy in security tab application security policy enable and then we choose the appropriate security policy we could apply the security policy to the virtual server directly from the security policy as you have seen earlier it is also recommended to apply log profile to the web application to, to enable logging of the traffic we select log all requests later in the dedicated lesson we will learn how to create a log profile to log all requests and responses and then update now web application dvwa is protected by the security policy based on rapid deployment template it's applying to the virtual server to verify the operation of security policy i send a simple sql injection attack and expect f5 advanced WAF to block the traffic since i have set enforcement mode to blocking and also disable signature staging in dvwa web application with username admin and login password and then in the section sql injection i attack with a simple sql injection command as we have discussed in the previous lesson and then submit as we expected traffic is blocked if we check in the section security and then event log application and then request you can review the blocking log and traffic details as well as appropriate signature as you can see this is the traffic details which is blocked and it is matched with sql injection attack or sql injection signature you can also see the details of the traffic for example source ip address time host requested url and all other details of the traffic and since it is a violation there must be a learning suggestion for this traffic which will be discussed later in the next uh, lessons but in the section traffic learning you can see that there must be exist some learning suggestion for this traffic 
which is SQL injection traffic attack signature detected SQL injection SQL injection you can accept it that means the traffic is not a violation and F5 advanced FAF module will learn to tune the security policy not to generate any log or block the traffic in the next matching.